Okay, thank you again for taking the time to participate in today's focus group. Let's move on to a new topic. Should we be genetically modifying all our foods? I heard that GMOs give babies dark birthmarks that cover the whole face and body, and I don't want a black baby. Birthmarks are the sign of the devil. Only bastard children get birthmarks. Jon Snow is a beautiful bastard, and he doesn't have any birthmarks. I've studied his body extensively, and it is completely smooth and creamy. The internet is a wealth of information. Yeah, I've got a bastard, and he's scotch-free. I didn't even want the kid. But back in those days, my only other option was a hanger in a back alley and a sweet little old man named Fergus. Beware ah. of the shapeshifter named Fergus. When I got pregnant, I thought about going to see Fergus. But then this man on TV who will never understand what it's like to be pregnant told me that I would go to hell because all life is precious. Like Gabare Sidibe. Well, you know, not all lives are precious, like rapists and murderers. And of course, people I can't relate to. They are useless. I'm sure Redneck agrees. Oh, no, absolutely not. I believe that love and tolerance for one another is what's going to bring peace you and hate unity. You Redneck. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was incredibly unprofessional of me. I'm just, um, I'm getting a bit emotional because I, I think I might be pregnant. Ah, oh, that's so great. Mazel tov. That's wonderful news. If you're ready for your life to become Armageddon, but without the Ben Affleck to calm your nerves. So, Miss Penelope, what will you name the child? Can I perhaps suggest Khaleesi, Daenerys, or if you have to, Hillary? I'm a strong believer in allowing individuals to choose their own baby names without feeling judged or stifled by societal... Shush! Nobody cares about your bigoted Southern mentality. I haven't really even thought about names yet. I hope you plan on breastfeeding because you need to breastfeed. Otherwise, what kind of greedy teat monster are you? But don't rip those chest bunions out in public. Nobody wants to see that. I was born from a mushroom spore. Oh, hello, Mum. And you have to have a natural birth. Don't take drugs. Give your epidural to me. Yeah, giving birth doesn't count if you don't feel the pain. Like a prisoner of war who hasn't been tortured. You're just a bored house guest at that point. I almost died during childbirth because of the bombs that had been dropped on the hospital. Ooh. But we crawled out of the rubble with our eardrums ripped out, but our lives intact. I had so many hopes and dreams before my kid was born. I was going to move to Utah and become the first female polygamous cult leader. And then it all vanished with a single spurt. Unwanted pregnancies could be avoided if women just repressed their natural human sexual desires the way I repressed Father Donnelly's caresses. Childbirth was scary because my Venus flytrap looked like a suicide bomber came out of it. Oh, speaking of suicide bombers, my whole family got killed by one. But before my country was overrun by extremist militants, our government gave us six months paid maternity leave. Ah, it was the good old days, as you say. Oh, you're not gonna get that kind of support in this country. What the hell is that? Put the baby in that. It can learn how to stand up by pulling itself up by its own bootstraps. Don't help it. Or just throw it in the air and see if it can fly. We've gotten really sidetracked. Let's get back on topic. I shouldn't even brought this up. This is my body, my issues. Let's talk about GMOs. Stop being so selfish. Your body is our business. So shut up, have that baby, and don't let your body go to the shits. Put on a vase trainer, be a woman, and suffer quietly like the rest of us. Listen, you need to go to Planned Parenthood and start planning your freedom. Unless, of course, you live in Texas. In which case, you just gotta go to Shapeshifter Fergus. Ah! Oh gosh, please don't shoot somebody say Planned Parenthood. I'll keep the baby, I promise. Even if it means suffering through abject poverty and a deep, deep depression, just please spare our lives. Oh, this ain't loaded. I just carry ironically and symbolically. I'm here for the focus group. I got some thoughts on genetically modified organisms. Thank you.